Hi, and welcome to M. Claire's Yoga and Wellness channel. Today's flow is going to be a slow flow. We are going to try and get into our obliques. We're also going to open up through our back. So let's get started. Let's start this time in an upward facing dog. If you can, this early in the practice, try and keep your thighs off the floor. If you can't, that's okay. Just warm yourself into it. And we're just going to stay in some of these poses for a little longer than we usually would. Try and keep your feet together, shoulders down, and breathe. And really push through your, your palms of your hands. You want to make sure that your hips are really heavy and so we can get that nice bend in the back. Then we're going to push back into child's pose. Sink your chest in between your legs towards the floor and reach your hands towards the front of your mat. And breathe. Then come on forward into our upward facing dog. And roll over to one side, drop your hips, really getting into those obliques. Come through the center, change sides. And then do this a few times. And just go at your own pace here. And back into child's pose. Sink that chest towards the floor. And tuck your toes and let's push up into our downward facing dog. Again, reach your chest towards the floor. Really lengthen through your tailbone and push through the hands. And aim at getting our feet towards or our heels towards the mat. If you can't, it's not an issue. You know, just work with your body. Don't force anything. We don't want you to hurt anything. But if it is feeling like you're getting that stretch, then try and bear with it as much as possible so you can deepen it and increase on that flexibility. Then come on forward into plank. And here we're going to do alternating opposite knee to opposite elbow to get into those obliques. Really squeeze that knee to the elbow as you come in. Engage your core. Let's do five more on each side. Last two, and last one. Hold in plank, and breathe. Then come down into our forearm plank. Hold it here, and here we're gonna do side to side dips. Again, really getting into those obliques. And just remembering to breathe through it. Last five on each side again.
And last one. Back to neutral. Back up into plank. Hold it here. Engage your core. And let's come through our chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Again, hold here and feel that nice little back bend. And then push back into our downward facing dog. And each time, just seeing if you're getting your heels closer to the mat. Feel as your body is warming up, that flexibility increasing. Then step forward into high lunge with your right foot. Hold it here. And you can add a little rock here if that feels good. Back and forth. And then pivot that back foot and come into a warrior two. Hold it here. Keep your shoulders down. Make sure your knee's not coming over the front of your toes. And don't allow your knee to drop inwards. Try and pull it out towards the back of the room so it keeps you nice and parallel. Imagine you're lying against a wall. And breathe here. And then I want you to extend your leg reach forward and let's come on into the triangle position you could either put your hand on your foot or if you need to be further up that's okay too or you can just balance your fingertips whichever works best for your body and then gonna, if you want to you can also reach your hand to add that deeper stretch down the side towards the front of the room, making sure you don't collapse into your shoulders. Make sure you're strong through the core. Then come on up, bend back into your warrior two. Pivot your back foot. And we're gonna come into our crescent, adding that back bend. Our crescent lunge, interlace your fingers, point your index finger up, And breathe. And come on forward. And here, you can come into a skadasana. Hold it. You can also place your hand down towards the side of your right knee and add that little twist here if that feels good for your body. And also add a bind if it feels nice. And if you need to, you can also keep your hands here if you find this too difficult. Then we're going to skadasana to the back of our mat. Hold it here. And again, if you want to deepen that stretch, place your hand in front and reach your arm, your right arm towards the ceiling. And add that bind if it's within your practice. Oops, and watch your balance. And then come on out, pivot your foot, come into that high lunge on the opposite side. And again, you can add that little rock back and forth if that feels good for you. Breathing all the way through this. Make sure that you have a nice strong back leg, nice and straight. Then you're gonna pivot your back foot and come into that warrior two, keeping those shoulders down and breathe. And then extend that leg coming into triangle. And again, you can either place your hand on the 
ankle here, further up your leg, depending where it feels good for you. Or you can have your fingertips just balancing in this nice, lovely, long, straight line. And then you can also deepen the stretch, bringing your hand over the top of your head and getting that lovely stretch down the side of the body. And you're going to pivot forward onto your back foot and come into that crescent lunge with the back bend, interlacing your fingers, watching your balance. Really aiming to push your heel towards the floor. And just breathe here. And then come on forward. And again, we're going to come into that skadasana. Hold it here. Breathe. If you want to add that nice twist, please do so. And again, you can also add a bind. Looking up towards the ceiling. And then skidasana to the front of our mat. Doing exactly the same again. And again, incorporating the bind if it's within your practice. And when you're ready, come on out, pivot back into that high lunge, step back into our plank, through our chaturanga, upward facing dog, breathe here, keep those thighs off the floor and our toes together, shoulders down, really feeling that nice back bend, and breathe. And push back up, downward facing dog. Step forward again with your right foot in between your hands. Into high lunge, hold it here. Again, drop your foot. Come into our warrior two. And here, if it's within your practice, we're going to add a bind. And if you can't do this, please just stay into the warrior two. And breathe. And again, if you'd like to come into the side angle, place your hand. You can either stay on your knee and reach your arm over the top of your head or you can come on down, placing your right hand next to your right foot and deepening that stretch, keeping your shoulders stacked and looking up to the palm of your hand as you extend it forward. Then come on back as we move into our wide-legged forward fold, bringing our head towards the floor and breathe here. You can interlace your hands and bring your arms over the top of your head and reach towards the floor. Then come on back. We're going to pivot into that high lunge, the back of the room. Bring our hand down, come back into the warrior two. Hold it here. 
breathe. And again, if you can do a bind and it's within your practice, you can bind now, look up towards the ceiling, and you can use your arm to pull that knee out to deepen that stretch as well. And again, we're going to come into that extended side angle, either on your knee, bringing it over the top, or deepen it, bringing your left hand next to your left foot, pushing your knee out with your hand and reaching over the top of your head and looking up towards the palm, stacking your shoulders. And again, we're going to come on through our wide-legged forward fold and come forward. If you want to deepen the stretch, reach your hands through your legs towards the back of the room, bringing your forehead towards the floor. And come on back out, pivot your front foot back into that high lunge, step back into plank through a chaturanga, upward facing dog, again, add that nice little back bend here, keeping your shoulders down, and we're going to repeat like we did before, where we come to one side, getting into those obliques, coming through the center, and then changing sides. Don't go too fast on this one. You don't want to hurt yourself and you really want to get that deep stretch. Come on back. Hold it here. And then push back into our downward facing dog. And breathing. And you can drop your knees to the floor. Here we're going to come into a camel. Now, if this is too difficult, you can just stay here, making sure you support your back and just adding a little back bend here. If it is within your practice, you can reach one hand down towards your heel, bend the other hand, pushing your chest up and dropping your head back. And breathing. When you're ready, make sure you support your back as you come on out, sit back down, open up those legs, doing a counter pose and coming into the child's pose, dropping your chest towards the floor, breathe, then we're going to come on up. And all you're going to do is swing your legs around, coming into the center of your mat, as we roll down one vertebra at a time, onto the mat, bring your right knee towards your chest. You can add a little rock here just to get into those hips. And then we're going to take that knee, drop it over towards the left, and reach our arm towards the back of the room, looking towards it, coming into this really nice spinal twist. And come on back. One last pull in with that knee, then change legs. Bring your left knee towards your chest. Again, add a little rock here, side to side, just getting into that hip joint. And when you're ready, bring that knee across towards the right, reach your arm towards the left, 
and look up towards your right, your left hand, sorry. And just relax into this pose. And come on back. Pull that left knee towards your chest one last time. Come back with your legs together into our final asana, Shavasana. Just allow your legs and your hands and your arms to fall to the side as we close off this practice with a few deep breaths. And just focus on the inhales and exhales. Just allow your body to really relax, sinking into the floor. And then take your arms over your head for one final stretch. As we roll over to our side and meet in the center of our mats as we close off this practice. Come into a comfortable position. You can either sit with in an easy pose, a lotus, whatever is best for you. And we're just gonna finish off with a few deep breaths here. So bring your arms up over your head as you inhale. And then exhale out. And again, inhale, exhale. And take your left hand onto your right knee, adding one last little twist here. Look over your right shoulder. Then come on back, change sides. Right hand onto left knee and look over your left shoulder. Then come on back through. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this flow and I hope you felt it in your obliques as well as getting a bit more mobility into your back. And if you did, please like and subscribe, share with your friends and let's grow this channel. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.